love being in the water. And when I catch a wave, that feeling when the wave picks you up and the power behind it before gliding down to the side, I just gets me every time. I absolutely love it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Let's be honest here. This isn't a surf documentary like every other surf movie out there, filled with tricks, slow mo footage, and some inspiring quotes about freedom. Because most of us aren't professional surfers by any means. We just love surfing and are super happy about every little step we take in order to get better. Reality is that 90% of surfing for people with our skills looks more like this. Yes. In fact, I only got into surfing about two years ago. Further back, in 2016, I visited the Maldives for the first time and stayed at a resort in the Mala Atoll, which is famous for its surf. But because I had no experience in surfing whatsoever, I could only watch how others were riding those waves right in front of me and thought, one day, I want to be able to do this too. After climbing Kilimanjaro back in 2018, I was in search of a new challenge and decided to finally take on surfing. Man, if only I knew what a long process this would be. It all started in 2019, when I spent two weeks in a surf camp in Sri Lanka to find out if this sport is something for me or not. A few days in and I got more and more addicted. The first steps were taken and I decided to go for it and promised myself that every time I would be in a destination where surfing is possible, I would take on the opportunity. In the following 16 months, I got to work on my surfing skills in Portugal, Costa Rica, Morocco and I could slowly see the progress. Then it was Sri Lanka again, before spending several months in a row in Portugal, where I became friends with the guys from Surf Kashkaish. When they asked me if I want to join them for a surf trip with friends to the Maldives, I couldn't say no. But because this is 2021 now, traveling wasn't as easy as it used to be. In order to be safe and travel responsibly, we all got PCR tested before departure and created our own bubble on a boat we would stay on for the whole time with a crew that already had been fully vaccinated before our arrival. Everything was set, so we packed our bags, boarded our flights and after a short stop over in Dubai, we were on our way to the Maldives and simply couldn't stop smiling. Welcome to paradise, where I'll be spending the next 10 days with my friends from Surf Kashkaj on this very boat here. But first, let me introduce you to the destination. All 
Alright then, let's take a look at a map. The Republic of Maldives is a small archipelagic state situated in the Indian Ocean. It lies southwest of Sri Lanka and India, about 700 kilometers from the Asian continent's mainland. The chain of 26 atolls stretches from the Iavandipolu Atoll in the north to the Adu Atoll in the south across the equator. Comprising a territory spanning roughly 298 square kilometers, the Maldives are one of the world's most geographically dispersed sovereign states as well as the smallest Asian country by land. Islam is the state religion of the Maldives and with that certain rules and standards apply for example regarding dress code and the consumption of alcohol on the local islands. This however is a different story on the resort islands as well as on the liveaboards. So as you can see there are in general three ways of spending a holiday on the Maldives. The first and cheapest is staying on a local island. Again, in early 2021, not an ideal option. Then there are the numerous resort islands, which basically form the largest economic industry in the Maldives. As stated earlier, I've stayed in two resorts in the past. Packages here range from affordable to, mm, let's say, the sky is the limit. And then there is the liveaboard option. Also here, you can pick from a range of vessels. Ours was more on the affordable side of things and had everything we needed. So let's have a look. Let me introduce you to our boat. Right now I'm standing right next to the bridge where Ibrahim is sitting. This is our captain on this boat, the Marivaru. Thank you, Ibrahim. And right in front of the bridge, we have some sun chairs to enjoy the sun. And then if you look down here, woo! <laughs> Everybody's enjoying life. And here you have the bar. There's Sammy <laughs> and Marco. Yeah, this is basically our common area. This is where we can relax inside. And then if we go over here, this is where we get served our meals. And next to the main boat, we have our transport boat with all the boards. This brings us to the surf spots. And now if we go down the bottom of the boat, and this is where all the rooms are located. I'm here in a twin, which I'm sharing with Sammy. And here you have everything you need. Two beds, plenty of space to put your sunscreen and stuff. Then on top of that we have an AC, pretty essential. And what I find pretty cool is all the rooms have a private bathroom with a shower, everything you need. Pretty luxurious actually. With about a week to spend, we focused mainly on surf spots in the Mala Atoll and moved to different spots depending on the swell and the weather forecast. It all started when my last trip to the Maldives ended about five years ago, right in front of the Don Valley Resort, where we were anchoring for the first few nights. David. I'm 31 years old. I grew up in Lisbon and I surf since I'm 13 years old. I'm not professional, not super advanced, but I just have a lot of fun in all kinds of conditions. In order to surf in the Maldives, you need to be a semi-autonomous surfer that knows how to paddle and try to be independent in the water. It's important to have good paddling skills because that's a lot, like we paddle a lot around here. And then to also have a perspective of where to catch the wave and ride the wave either to the left and to the right. 
The Maldives is such a perfect place. Normally the waves are point break, so they always break in the same place. So that makes things much easier for especially intermediate levels. So more perfect waves, easier to read and easier to catch, I would say. So if you want to practice a specific maneuver or a specific group of maneuvers, the Maldives is perfect because you know you are going to catch the same wave like on and on and on, so you can just practice. Surfing for me is pushing myself beyond my limits, is falling and trying again and it's uh, being scary sometimes but super happy some other times. My name is Ceci, I'm from Uruguay and I'm 26 years old. I work in the wine industry as the expert manager of a Uruguayan winery in Europe. I had really high expectations about the Maldives trips because a lot of people have told me stuff. Uh, but I think I'm impressed every day by the nature, the animals, the waves, the temperature of, of the water, the color. It's like unbelievable and amazing. I started surfing three years ago and my level will be like an intermediate, I think. <laughs> I always try to recognize the place, so I'm a little bit scared of the very first waves and after I'm catching some I get more confident and surfing is a lot about confidence, so I think uh, there is already a progression because you, you, you push yourself, you go and then you see, oh, that wasn't that as hard as I thought it would be and then you go again and the waves are so similar, like they're breaking all in the same spot and kind of the same wave that if you made a mistake in a previous wave, you have time, you have several other waves to, to improve and not do that mistake again and actually that helps you the progression a lot. A surf session, of course you hit the bar, here's Hassan, he's the big boss here, and he gives us the beer. <laughs> there we go, thank you Hassan. Okay, okay. all the best for you. To us. Cheers! Now we're at the kitchen and this is where the magic is happening. Oof, it's warm. Too hot. Too hot. What are you making today? Today making uh, grilled uh, chicken and uh, vegetable pakora and uh, rice and spaghetti. The food we got to enjoy every single day on the boat was definitely another highlight of the trip and helped us to charge our batteries to be ready for more surfing. My name's Sammy, I'm 30 years old and I'm currently based in Kashgaish working remotely um, as a data scientist, project manager. So starting from a very low base as pretty much complete beginner back in uh, October last year, um, I'm now surfing some pretty big waves um, and have progressed quite a lot. My biggest achievement was yesterday in fact at Sultan's where there was a huge swell uh, like two meters plus and I managed to catch um, a pretty big right-hander um, that absolutely terrified me but trusted in my technique, trusted in the, uh, everything that I've learned from the coaches at Surf Kashgaish and um, absolutely loved it. The vibe's fantastic, everyone is cheering each other on um, whenever we catch waves and in all the videos you can, you can hear everyone uh, clapping and, and whooping which is great. 
and um, yeah, on the boat in the evening it's really relaxed, um, everyone gets on really well, it's, it's just been a fantastic experience so far. Besides coaching in the water, we also had video coaching sessions after dinner in order to analyze our mistakes and improve our surfing technique. So my biggest role is I, I will do footage of people surfing, either video with a drone or pictures, also going to the island and film them surfing. So try to have all the angles of people and, and improving their technique, either paddling, catching the wave, analyzing where is the best place to to do it and also on the way of the technique to to surf these longer waves to try to generate speed go up and down try to do the first turns so basically create the footage and then analyze it on the tv and, and do the video coaching but of course it's not all about surfing on a trip like that. So we used our time between surf sessions to relax, swim, play games, go diving. And of course, we also had a few nights where we made use of the dance floor. Sarah. I live in Lisbon. Uh, I'm 32 years old and I'm a flight attendant. I think I'm intermediate. I just need to improve a lot of things like the hands and uh, I'm starting now to just going up and down. When you're surfing you don't think anything else. It's just like in that one and a half hour you just focus on paddling and uh, okay now I need to do this and that. Surfing here is completely different. The, the waves are much easier to catch and to pop up and everything. So it was the first time that I surf in waves like which this size and everything. Yes. Surfing in the Maldives is simply incredible, but as you can see, what makes surfing truly unique is if you can share these waves and the experience with like-minded people. The atmosphere of the group, it's great, like the vibes are great. We go together, we spend the whole day together, so we care for each other and I think even though we weren't friends before the trip, we probably become friends after this trip.